Welcome to my channel. I am Ben, the business analyst expert. In today's video, we're going to talk about how you go from H-1B, work visa, to permanent residency, green card, which is the last step when looking to work and live in the U.S. permanently. But before moving further, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the latest update of our channel. From F-1 to H-1B to green card. Once the F-1 student has changed his or her status to that of H-1B, he or she may wish to adjust his or her status to that of lawful permanent resident or green card holder. A green card can be obtained by sponsorship by the H-1B visa holder's employer or another one. If the person wishes to apply for the green card and the employer is willing to sponsor him or her, he or she should apply for the labor certification with the Department of Labor as soon as possible. Green card processing through labor certification can take up to a few years to process. Reduction in Requirement, RIR, is a process that can theoretically speed this process up. However, the reality since 9-11 is that the BCIS is approving less and less applications for RIR. RIR is a process wherein labor certification can be obtained if the employer has conducted a good faith effort to recruit in the United States workers for a period of six months prior to the filing of a labor certification and failed to find a qualified United States worker. The Department of Labor may rely on the employer's efforts to forego recruitment under its supervision. The Department of Labor provides a four-pronged test for establishing a good RIR case. If the employer can show that the job offered is in one of those occupations for which there is little or no availability of qualified United States workers, there are no restrictive requirements that they meet the prevailing wage and that the employer has shown adequate recruitment through sources normal to the occupation and industry within the previous six months then the Department of Labor may approve the RIR. If the RIR fails to be approved, as is becoming more frequent, the case does not fail. The case merely falls back in place and treated as any other case, thus taking years to complete. For this reason, it is prudent on the part of the H-1B visa holder to apply for the green card as early as possible. Once the employer has received an approved labor certification, the employer may apply to the BCIS with the form I-140. The alien spouse and children may be included in the petition. Processing time at this stage can take three to eight months. Once the I-140 is approved, the next step is for the alien to apply for adjustment of status. Once applications made for adjustment of status, the alien and his or her spouse and children will receive work authorization within 90 days. The alien will have to interview for the green card within six months to three years. Once the interview is successfully completed, the alien and his or her family will receive their green cards and become lawful permanent residents of the United States. So guys, this is all the information you need to know about getting your green card through employment in the U.S. And if you like this video, give thumbs up and show your support in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Until then, keep smiling.